Hey, photographers, you like to suggest products for me to review. Now, here's a request I received from Hank Stinson in Prince Edward Island. Hey, Martin, I have a microphone problem. Rowena and I do a two-person show in a small room, but some people have difficulty hearing us. We'd like to use microphones, but don't really want to work with mic stands. We'd like to keep it informal and conversational. Wireless mics seem to be the solution, but do we really need to buy two systems so that both of us are mic'd properly? Now, Hank, the obvious solution is two wireless kits, but then I remembered something I saw at a trade show in Toronto last fall. And I found it online at B&H Photo, so I asked them to send the Ceramonic UWMIC9 for review. It seemed surprisingly inexpensive. And Ceramonic was not a brand name I recognized, so I wasn't sure what I was going to get. The kit includes two transmitters and one receiver, which seems to be exactly what you need in a nicely simple configuration. Now the kit comes packaged and the various units are well made with solid cables and positive connections. There's nothing flimsy about this gear. And I'm no materials expert, but I think these are metal cases. There are two lapel mics with a standard threaded 3.5 mm stereo audio connector, the same as found on other wireless transmitters like Sennheiser and Rode. The mics are black and include a windsock and a clip. In size, they may be slightly larger than others. Cable length is about a meter. Transmitters and receiver are about 6 cm by 8 cm and weigh a little over 200 grams. The transmitter and receiver each require two AA batteries, which are inserted on a tray. There are belt clips for each and a cold shoe mount for the receiver. Each unit has two status lights and four control buttons, as well as an LCD display. The receiver has a threaded connector for the output cable, and both mono XLR and stereo 3.5mm mini cables are included. That enables me to connect directly to a camera with a mic input or to my Tascam DR70D mixer recorder. The second connector on the receiver supports a headphone output. That's an unusual feature and highly appreciated. I connected a mic to a transmitter, headphones to the receiver, and powered up. Instant success. The system, and this entire video including narration, is recorded using the Ceramonic kit. It provides clear quality sound with excellent frequency coverage for voice and good dynamic range. Now, not such good news when I powered up the second unit, suddenly there was interference. That sent me to the manual, which doesn't have a quick start or configuring two transmitters section. I figured out that I had to set the second transmitter to group B, which is relatively easy to do using the buttons to navigate the system's menu. Then group B, off by default, had to be turned on on the receiver. Again, easy enough, but Anyway, then the system worked perfectly. I was able to hear both mics. Now, there are volume adjustments ranging from 1 to 30 on the receiver for each group to balance the two mics. There are no level controls on the transmitters. There's a setting to change the output to stereo, and that works only on the stereo micro connector. And Hank, that might be useful if you want yourself and Rowena coming out of different speakers, or if you're recording two voices and want to mix in post. With the XLR cable, both channels are summed to mono, regardless of the setting. XLR is, after all, a mono connector. Now, I found the volume on the XLR to be higher than the micro connector, but that might be the configuration of my mixer. Now, there's no level control for the headphone out, and if the channel setting is under 27 or so, the default, the volume is too low to hear anything on the headphones. The two transmitter mic combinations are not exactly identical. With the same settings on the transmitter, the audio level from one was about three decibels higher than the other. And note that I've taped the mic to my glasses, as these are omnidirectional, so as long as it's within about 20 centimeters of the source of the sound, should be fine. The channel settings can be changed manually, but in my world, if it ain't broke, best to leave it alone.
Now, the specs indicate that it operates in the 514 to 596 megahertz band and supports 96 channels. And note that this band will be available after 2020, an important consideration as some wireless frequencies are being eliminated. Now, there is, of course, one more use for a second transmitter, backup or redundancy, if you have an absolutely must-work scenario. But for full redundancy, a single receiver might not be sufficient. Well, Hank, that's my suggestion. Try them out and let me know what you think. Come by, cunning boy, come by, barge. Robot, robot, smaller large. Come by, eager, come by, trench. There's rum in the belly of the Millie J. Well, then things really started uh, to Edward, heat up with it. Edward, Edward, you haven't introduced me to these people. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my lovely wife, Mary Alice. And this is my husband, Captain Edward Dix. Now, if you want historical facts about Charlottetown or rum running or, or bootlegging, you listen very carefully to Mary Ellis. And if you want ripping yarns and tales of skullduggery, then I'm your man. Come by, cutting come by, barge, robot, robot, small or large. Come by, eat or come by, chance, there's run in the belly of the Nelly J. Banks. Run in the belly of the Nelly J. Banks. Run in the belly of the Nelly J. Thanks, Martin. I think that's going to be just fine. Well, that's great news. I'm so glad that it's working out. Just one question. Where did you hide your mics? Oh, it's right here behind my top yeah, button. Behind your you top button. You can't see it. It's and cleverly hidden. <laughs> very much. And mine is hidden inside my scarf. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we found a solution that worked. Now, I use Duracell batteries for wireless mics as I find them more reliable. In the Saramonic transmitters, they seem to last longer than average. In the receiver, particularly with two channels operating, a little less. Now, the range of wireless mic operation is always limited. The specs indicate 100 meters in open areas, 60 meters in spaces with obstacles. And Hank, thanks for asking. I'm always happy to reply to relevant questions and civil comments. And a kind thank you to all my subscribers. Your support is appreciated. If you are the subscribing type and you're not yet a subscriber, please do subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.